Thank you. And how may I help you today? Yeah, I'm calling because I wanted to see if I could um, change my platinum card into um, the flagship card. Okay, let me take a look. As you can see, I leveled up to the flagship and I had to because I messed up, you know, with my cash rewards and my more rewards. Um, I got a whole different strategy now because my only strategy before was just getting the biggest limits possible, which I still want to do, but I might as well, you know, kill two birds with one stone. I got a whole new strategy. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Level Up Finance, where we talk about money, mindset, on the road to get millions. So my first strategy was just to get the biggest limits possible with these credit cards and put all the spend on one card that gave me the most points. But after sitting back and doing math with my Go Rewards card, I'm just like, nah, this is not it. That's why I ultimately went to the flagship. It makes more sense for me. And I'm going to talk about three cards that I have um, that made me make the choice to go to the flagship. And it's strictly math related. First, let's talk about my Amex. Last year in 2021, I spent about $25,000 on this credit card and I got about 35,000 points out of it that equals about $350 all right so with the um, more rewards you get 3x on gas uh, 3x on restaurants and supermarket and 1x on everything else and I don't go grocery shopping I buy gas but it's not like crazy amounts probably $2,000 $3,000 tops um, and restaurants, I probably spend less than a thousand dollars. So with the three X categories, I don't have too much to choose from, you know, and even though I thought I did, I'm really getting one X on everything. So that was the big issue that I didn't really think of, think about. That's why I spent so much. I paid so much down and I got really nothing, $350. Now with the cash rewards, I spent about $7,800. And that's from June to now. Um, and the amount of cash back I got is $188. So I spent about a third of what I did on the Amex, but I got um, almost half of what I, uh, I got on the Amex for the actual rewards, the cash value of the rewards. $188 compared to $350. And I only spent $78. All right. So with the um, cash rewards, you get. 1.5% cash back on everything you spent. But if you get direct deposit into your account, you get 1.75% back on everything you spent. So that the math is, is, is better with this. So if I spent $25,000 on that card, like I did with my Amex, I would have got about 400 and something dollars. So the math is actually better with the cash back card. So I don't have this card, but I'm gonna talk about it anyways honorable mention the go rewards card the best thing about this card is that you get a 20k bonus with the more rewards card from amex you don't even get no bonus at all so that's a great thing it's a 200 dollars you know value getting that that 20k um bonus points all right one of the reasons i never got this card i feel like it's inferior to the cash back card inferior to the amex card because of the point system you get you know 3x on restaurants and 2x on gas and 1x on everything else like I might as well get the Amex card you get you know 3x on gas and 3x on restaurants so I mean you get more categories for, with higher uh, points you know so Gold Rewards is like a entry level you know car if you have bad credit you just want to get in Navy Fed probably this is the car for you and the next card I got which I changed, a product change to the flagship is the Platinum. It don't give you any type of points whatsoever. Um, it just give you lower interest rates and um, it give you like a longer term, no interest for a uh, balance transfer. So if you just get the card, then you have what, 12 months of no interest balance transfer. That's about it. So that's the card I changed over to the flagship. Now let's talk about the flagship. It's a $49 annual fee. If you get this card, you get a, um, a 30,000 sign-on bonus, which is great. So that's a $300 value right there. Um, and you get 3X on travel, which is um, you 
your car rental, airplanes, buses, um, taxis, anything transit related, you get 3x on that. And everything else is 2x. So if I use that instead of my um, More Rewards Amex, which was my everyday, now with that $25,000 spend that I did last year on it, and I only got 3500 with just the 2x, not even hitting the 3x categories, I'm going to get $50,000. Well, 50,000 points I would get out of it, which is equal to $500. So that's $150 more than the Amex. So, you know, that's and still, that's not hitting the 3x categories, which I should hit. I talked to the representative and I asked a couple of questions. One question I did ask is if I have the flagship and I have the more rewards, can I use both of the points, you know, from each car together or whatever? She was like, yeah, sure. You just got to call in to the, you know, the, the reward center or whatever it's called and then just tell them what you want to do and we could do it. So with that being said, now here's come the strategy. You could use your flagship for every day. I know it's a $45, $49 fee, but it's well worth it because it's a small, you know, annual fee that you basically get your money back. You know, as long as you use it right, you're going to get your money back because it's 2x on everything and then 3x on travel categories, which is easy to, to obtain, you know. Um, plus, you get the $30,000 um, uh, bonus if you spend $3,000 in three months. So that's you know easy to do so like i was saying you have the flagship you got the amex the amex you can use for gas you can use it for groceries um you also can use it for restaurant all of that is 3x and now you know yeah your um, flagship you can use it for traveling stuff anytime you're doing any type of traveling you use your uh, flagship and um you could be here every day because it's 2x on everything else so if you want to you know purchase a new code if you want to um, buy a camera if you want to you know fix some stuff on your, your house or whatever swipe it because you only get one point on your amex now you're getting two points so by the end of the year if you use those two combinations of cards you're going to maximize your points because you could just call in put all your points together and do some do some things you can actually probably accumulate enough points you can actually travel with it you know you have to spend a good amount of money to travel every year and have everything covered but you know like with credit unions you don't have to um you know it don't expire ever these these points so you could just stack up stack up and then boom go on a big boy vacation strictly on your points all right so it's about big limits for me but now it's about points for me too i'm trying to have two two of you know the best things with credit cards combined together so i could utilize this to benefit my life you know, so hopefully I learned a little something, something. If you did, give me one of these. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll talk to you on the next one, all right? Level up.